You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast. A brand new game on the Fitzy and Whipper show. He's the stat man. He's a stat man. <laughs> stat. Let's be very clear with that. Guys, it's a very simple game. I'm going to ask you a question. The answer will involve a number. That is a statistic. Um, the nearest to the pin is the winner of each round. There's going to be five stats or questions thrown at you here, guys. Um, I wish you all the best of luck. Any questions before we launch into question number one? Is this one of those occasions where you came up with the name and then liked it mm. and then had to no, figure out a game was, to follow? You know what was amazing? We finished on the Friday at work for Christmas. The week after, my brain was taking time to slow down. And it was just pumping out all these ideas. I rang Tommy like three hours after the last show and I said, Tommy, we've got to get back in. We've got to start recording. I've got too many great ideas for this show. And now it's my gift to present them. Uh, You were so busy with ideas you couldn't make the first show of the year. Well, that was the thing. I was preparing them. I was preparing. He's a stat man. Um, Stats awesome, guys. Okay. Stats interesting. And awesome. Stats amazing. A lot of production to compensate. This is the only thing that's getting it through the production. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. Okay, here's the first question. Let's go. Four people playing today. MDG, Tom, Fitzy, Sarah. What is the cost of the... Hold on, do we shout out our names? You didn't say... You haven't explained. No, no, no. You just have to get go. Nearest to the pin. Nearest to the pin. Nearest to the pin. Higher or lower, nearest to the pin. Doesn't matter. What is the cost of the most expensive home sold in Australia? Oh, gosh. I'll say 150 mil. Okay, Ryan would like to look at 150. Yeah. Is there something in particular you're thinking of, Fitzy? I've got no idea. Okay. Yeah, I'll say 130 mil. One of those old heritage listed houses around the harbour there. Okay. Um, I feel like there was a news article the other day on this. Prior to Christmas, there was a purchase for, I think, of around 120. Yeah. To give you some ballpark. 180? Okay, Sarah would like to lock in 180. I'm going high, I'm going high with 200 mil. Oh, wow. 200 mil. Tom, yeah. what property sold for 200 million? But maybe there was a very expensive one over in uh, Perth in Peppermint Grove. Peppermint Grove. That lovely one. area in Western Australia. Uh, nearest the pin is Fitzy. 150, you said. It was 140, oh, which was the okay. top penthouse at Barangaroo. That's right. Wow, that was... Barangaroo South. Wow. Is that Pat and Pack has got the other one? I believe so, yeah. The penthouse sold. Uh, it is a two-storey Renzo piano-designed building. Wow, makes sense. Okay. That's amazing. Now we've got a bit of an idea about how the stats game works. Are we having fun? Yes. Yeah. Have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong, Whippa. Okay, in centimetres... What was the highest... Sorry. What was the height of the tallest person to have ever lived? So I'm not asking you what the tallest person alive is right now. I'm asking you, in centimetres, what was the height of the tallest person to have ever lived? Yeah. How, how many are you, Fitz? I'm 199. I'll say 242. Would oh, you like to look in 242? I'm going to say three metres, so 300 <laughs> centimetres. Tom, you're a loser. Well, how tall was that guy who came out here? Oh, um, uh, you mean, what was his name? <sighs> Sergey. No. No, it wasn't Sergey. Eugene? Was, no. No, I remember he had to... Bulky, bulky. That's right. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't do impersonation. Bulker. Sultan. 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 He's the world's Sultan. tallest man. MDG, where are you? I think I saw a photo of this the other day. There's an older older gent, not currently alive. I'm going to say 228 centimetres. Okay. Tommy's gone for three metres. Says, are you? 230. Oh, I did 228. What are you talking about? Well, if it's going up, you're nearest to the pin. That would give you the win. Uh, let's have a look at it as we this check is, in with the leaderboard close, here. Looks Who's close. got it? Jess. Tom. Tommy's Tom. taking it out with Tom. three metres. Oh, did I get that right? The tallest man to have ever lived was 272 centimetres. Wow. That's interesting. Yes, it is. Yes. Take that to work to talk about. <laughs> How's it going, guys? <laughs> yeah, you good. The game or what? I've learned something today. Okay. What? Oh, no, my lift's about to open, I've got to get out, so... What percentage, of, <laughs> what percentage of songs on Spotify have received zero plays? Oh, awesome. What zero the, plays. Out of all of the songs all on... all the songs on Spotify, how many songs, what percentage have res, received zero plays? Two percent. So it's locked in two. I say zero percent. Surely even the person who uploaded it listened to it at least once. Yeah. I don't know if that's considered a stream. If it's coming from the same... I'll uh, say 0.5%. Uh, 
Interesting. I'm very gonna say, low. Very... I'm going to say 15%. Just to say take it's a little bit higher. Very interesting, Tom. That's the stat you'd like to lock in, Tom? Yes. MDG, you got an answer? Yeah, I'm in 0%. 0%. Zero percent. Zero percent. Zero. He uh, thinks everyone's had a play. Uh, the answer is 20% of songs on Spotify have never been played. Uh, Tommy, you've got it. You said 15. Stats awesome. Nailing that's awesome. Um, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy, that's 4 million tracks on wow. Spotify that have never, ever been played. That's amazing. Tell me about it. Is that it? Or are we still going? <laughs> no, mate, we're still going. I mean, we might trim it down as it goes on, but we're having a good time, yeah, right? How many kilometres per hour does an average bullet travel? Ooh, oh, my God. Da, 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 da. I, I'm, I'm going to answer last on this one. I'm going to say 268 kilometres per hour. 268 kilometres. I feel kilometers. like Tom has excellent general knowledge. Would, so. a bullet, would a bullet go faster than an aeroplane, Tom? Yes. No, an aeroplane an aeroplane goes faster than... A bullet? 206, yeah. Yeah. A bullet would go faster than an aeroplane, Tom. Oh, well, what MDG, saying? what would you lock in then? I would say 300 kilometres an hour. What if it was a bullet plane? Well, then it's not... Then that's slower than a plane, No, MDG. didn't say Tom said 200? Yeah, 268. How fast does a plane fly? Well, if you think we're sort of 1,000 k's from Melbourne and it takes an hour to fly, then it's probably just under 1,000 kilometres an hour. Yeah, what do you want to go? Oh, to bed, um, home, <laughs> to my desk, to write an essay on stupid games. Um, Says, what do you want to lock in? I'm going to lock in 2,000. 2,000 for Sarah. I don't oh, know. Lock I have in no idea. 1,500 kilometres an hour. A bullet travels at 3,000 kilometres an hour. What a loose wow. victory of oh, that round. for the pen. Sarah, you've got it with 2,000. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last one, guys. Oh, no, good. damn. Rule of three. What? <laughs> Rule of five says it's yeah. another stat for you. Oh, Every game must be blown. Boss back. Every <laughs> blown out. Sorry, Jamie Rowe. <laughs> <laughs> what percentage of all species that have ever lived on Earth are now extinct? What percentage of all species that have ever lived on Earth are now extinct? Well, hang on. I wonder what the dinosaurs account for. Yeah. See, I'm going to go quite high. I'm going to yeah. say 85%. 85 from MDG. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say I'll, 70. I'll, I'll go 86. <laughs> You're a dog, mate. 86. You don't care enough about this uh, game. I'm going to go 15%. 15%. That's really interesting. <laughs> yeah. So you reckon there's more around today than there has been in the history of the world. <laughs> wow. All right. It was quite high. What did you say? What did you say? 86%. 86. Spot on. What do you mean? You've got it. Oh! 86%. <laughs> the last one. Do we have a winner today, Jess? Oh, you don't remember? <laughs> Tommy won. We got the ball. Oh, well done, guys. Tommy. Interesting. That was interesting. Statistically, what is the percentage of this game coming back next week? You're right. Pretty high. 99. You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast.